And the title of the message, if you are writing, The Power of Worship. Worship can be in many ways. Giving can be the worship. Coming to change can be the worship. But there is one thing that God cannot do. He can do all things, but there is one thing which God cannot do, is to worship himself. From the beginning until now, he has never worshipped himself. That's the reason why the Pharisees spoke to Jesus and said they are making noise. Make them to stop. And Jesus said that if you stop them, God will rest the stone if it worship him. Why Jesus lifted in the stone? He said to himself, because there is one thing that God cannot do, is to worship himself. He preferred even at least the stone to worship him. And we were made to worship him. We were not made to be prayer warriors. John chapter 4. This 22, we go up to this 24. All right, let's sing together. One, two, three, four, go. He worshiped, he know what he was. We know what he worshiped for salvation is for the Jews. So sometimes you can worship by not knowing or by not, by not knowing. The Bible says, Jesus said to the Samaritan, you worship what you don't know. Jesus said, you worship what you don't know. But ask the Jews, we worship what we do. So, the God you don't know is not where you receive the praise of worship. Because you can't worship God if you don't know Him. Some of you, you have worshipped the local things which you have made yourself like gods, but you don't know. Look at the Samaritan people. They used to worship Jacob as their God. But Jesus, he said, no, there is only one God, this name is Jehovah. Because we know him. Alright, you can give me to it for. 
Let's say together one, two, three, four, go. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. So you have to understand this. Amen. Okay.